the big one this Friday night when Glasgow Warriors visit the Liberty Stadium as the battle for the playoffs continues. Join us now at Landarcy Academy of Sport as we look ahead to the game with Griff Rees, Dan Lidiot and Josh Matavesi. Josh, we're into May, last two games of the regular season. This is the business end, this is what it's all about. Yeah, uh, that's what I signed for the club, you know, to be in games like this on the weekend and you know, to book our place in the playoffs. So you know, I'm really happy with the way the squad's gone and how things have turned out. You're probably a bit of a mainstay of the squad since you arrived in the summer and I think you're ever present in the Pro 12. Uh, you must be pretty pleased with the way it's going for yourself personally. Yeah, really happy. You know, I've only missed one game and that was because I was away in Fiji. So I've picked up and you know, I've played every single game. So I'm really happy and um, I couldn't have asked for a better season. No injury free and you know, touch wood, it carries on like that. Looking at Glasgow on Friday night, what are you expecting from them? Pace, a lot of pace and um, it's a lot of spon- spontaneity. So, you know, they're going to be chucking it around. So, you know, it's just make sure we nullify that and um, just keep within our structures and hopefully the points will come. And there's a couple of your international compatriots there who are likely to be key men for them. <laughs> Is there any text messages flying back and forth yet? Uh, I think they've been texting uh, Tavita, so, you know, it's always good to play against those guys. I've got, I need to get one back on Nico for, you know, knocking me out last time. So, you know, I'm looking for him for the whole game. So, that's going to be a, a showdown. But, nah, they're good guys. They're really good players, you know. That's, it's good that you know these guys are playing top level rugby around the world, so we need that. I think Glasgow are perhaps the most underrated team in Europe, possibly. You know they are the only side who've qualified for the playoff every year since they came in in 2010, and they're sitting pretty at the top of the league at the minute. So they are they are the team to beat. Yeah, they are. You know it's always good to you know knock off the number ones, but um, you know, they got a tough game. They got a tough gig coming down here on Friday you know, against against the well prepared Osprey side. So you know, we're looking forward to them coming down and giving them a hard match. And the target will be hopefully two winning performances to lead us into the playoffs, yeah. hopefully at home with a bit of momentum behind us. Yeah, you know, we've still got these two games to finish, but you know, can't, can't kind of deny how, how important the home semi is, especially with our crowd and you know, how tough it is to come here and try and get a win. So you know, that's what we're gambling on. But you know, we'll be happy to, you know, to get a win this weekend. We'll look to Connaught the week after. You know, we're not going to get too far ahead of ourselves, but you know, that's the way it goes. If you haven't got your ticket for Friday night's big game, make sure you buy ours now. With special offers available for Judgment Day ticket holders and a get your money back offer if you buy a season membership for next season. There's no reason not to buy a ticket to support the cause this Friday night. You can get your tickets in person from the Liberty Stadium ticket office, online at ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets or via the ticket hotline on 0844 815 travel 65. Griff, we've had a blank weekend, but we're back to action now, looking ahead to a massive game against Glasgow on Friday night. What's the mood in the camp like? Yeah, really, really positive. Obviously, uh, you know, lots to play for and lots of ambition within the group to try and achieve something. Uh, it's also, you know, good around these times in a way that you can actually uh, go one on, one off, and it gives you time perhaps to recover, manage the group differently, even get some conditioning top ups uh, to certain players, but also the level of detail towards the next game. Uh, you can really look at things and start to drive home key messages early not that you want to peak early because it can feel like a long time between games but just getting ready to just brew things nicely up for friday it doesn't get much tougher than perhaps glasgow who probably been the standout team this season at the liberty stadium we haven't beaten them in a while so it's going to be tough yeah full respect to glasgow how they've built up over the last few years really you know looking at their record you know they feel on, on an incline you know to trying to pick off a championship themselves uh credit to them for what they've done uh and yeah they've had a good record against us recently you know albeit i think there's perhaps you know two or three recent games where you know we, we could and should have perhaps done a little bit more in those games uh which gives us a little bit of a extra motivation for the game uh not that we need much with everything that's at stake and uh obviously one that we, we're looking forward to as a coaching team, how content are you guys where we are at the minute with two games to go, playoff place booked, European Cup booked and just that home semi-final trying target now? 
yeah, I think in, in some ways, you know, perhaps you know, look back and things and where we were last year, you know, we were deeply disappointed. You know, we lost the away game to Zebra, you know, and we looked at all and everything. Uh, but I think there's, you know, probably five, ten percent things of levels of improvement around certain things that have uh, led to this point. But, you know, I think the playing group themselves, you know, won't stand still. And we can't do that as coaches. We've got to drive home the fact, you know, we can't be satisfied with, you know, Champions Cup playoff spot. We want to win the damn thing. And you look at Friday night's game, it's going to be a huge occasion and the crowd have got a part to play in that as well. Huge, yeah, and I think uh, you know, Judgment Day was a, a great exercise you know, in terms of uh, in sort of the, the response that you know, all sides had on it. You know, we had our die-hard fans there who were there supporting us you know, week in, week out, very vocal, which uh, you know, we could certainly sense in the millennium. And hopefully you know, we can add to that in the home game at Liberty. People can see that you know, we are trying to play some open, expansive rugby. You know, and obviously in a you know, high-pressured game, you know, we've got to be at the forefront of uh, what we're trying to do in terms of accuracy and smartness. You know, but you know, the crowd can make such a massive difference. So you know, hopefully with what's at stake of the game, we can get some real good support. Dan, Glasgow this weekend, massive game, top of the table. What's the mood in the camp? What are the boys feeling? Um, yeah, obviously we, we know how big of a challenge it's going to be on the weekend. Um, but you know we'll go into the game full of, full of confidence. But uh, like like I say, we're under no uh, uh, under no illusion how hard it's going to be. It's going to be a real tough battle. But you know, hopefully with a uh, home support, you know, we'll pick up the points. Is it not a bad position to be in? Perhaps where we've picked up a few bonus point wins without firing on all cylinders at times. So it, it's a good place to be, perhaps. Yeah, you know, just looking at the the last game, really, we you know underperformed in the first half. Uh, and we started to pick up a bit of momentum as the game went on. Um, we, we can't do that against Glasgow because you know they're a really tough side and they'll punish us if we start the first half um, on Friday night like like we did against the Blues. So uh, you know we're, we've been working hard to put that right, and uh, um, the boys are really looking forward to the, to the weekend. It's building up to be a pretty special occasion in terms of both teams targeting a home semi-final. Yeah, it's you know it's it's all to play for now. So um, you know I think uh, the top four have all got quite tough uh, tough run in So. Um, you know, every every point counts now. So you know, we've given you know 100% into into this game and our full concentration because we know what's on the line. For you personally, it's nice to be at the top end of the table rather than the bottom end of the table this time of the season. Yeah, it's you know, sort of uh, it, it's all new to me, but uh, you know, there's a really good um, really good buzz about the place, and uh, um, like I said, the boys are really excited, and you know, the weather's started to change now, so we got we got the sun on the uh, on our backs, and uh, you know, there's, there's a good feeling about the place. That's all for now. Don't forget, Ospreys versus Glasgow Warriors at the Liberty Stadium, Friday night, 7.35pm. It's going to be an absolutely massive occasion as the battle for the playoffs continues. Tickets are available from all the usual outlets. Get yours now and make sure you are there to support the cause this Friday night. Mm -hmm.